without affordable housing, um, the 17 million rental households who pay more than 50% of their income for rent have very difficult choices to make day to day. They have to make choices about where to pay rent, how to, how to fit food into their budget. They often forego necessities. And I don't think that's good for them. I don't think that's good for the community in which they live. And I don't think it's good for the American economy. So if affordable rental housing is actually good not only for the individual, but I think for all of us. Uh, right now, we lose two units um, for every one that we construct. Essentially, we're losing more than we're building. We need to get to the point where we are saving housing so that new construct, every newly constructed unit makes a difference. The other thing to know about preservation is often when we preserve, we preserve low-cost rental stock that is faster to preserve than to build new, it is less expensive, and is often environmentally sustainable. I really do think it's our, our message is too technical and it needs to be both simplified um, and magnified. It needs to be simplified, we should be saying it is less expensive, it's cheaper, faster, easier, and it's environmentally sustainable. And I think we start, need to start saying it that way and not talk so much about preservation but, but talk about what we're doing for the society. I think we need to put preservation squarely within the context of sustainability. I think if we do that, sustainability and preservation will both grow and that neighborhoods and, their, and how people live in their communities will be part of a, the conversation we're really engaged in and not just about the preservation of affordable housing.